To get started, the magnificent century touched many hearts, especially the Turkish saga conquered women's hearts. The screenwriters were able to convey the majestic core of sultans and sultans as much as possible. Based on reliable facts, the creators of the series were able to recreate the atmosphere of the inner world of the Ottoman Empire, combining love, confrontation and many intrigues into one exciting tangle of emotions. Suleiman and Roxolana, Myth vs. Reality In the series, we all saw how Hiram is always fighting with his enemies, and Alexandra is constantly maneuvering around the laws of the harem to stay alive. However, in reality, the intrigues were secondary. Historians have established that Roxolana was very smart and was experienced in a variety of issues. She even received foreign ambassadors on behalf of the Sultan, and her recommendations were taken seriously. Therefore, it was unnecessary to fight with enemies and change the laws of the harem, instead she devoted her time to science. Assassination Attempts and Intrigues in the Palace the script writers of the Turkish saga have exposed the main character Hurm as a terrible schemer and a ruthless woman. Some historians believe that Hurm is to blame for the deaths of Ibrahim and Mustafa. Nevertheless, most likely, these myths will remain myths and will not be accepted as historical truth. This is due to the fact that Hurm was feared for being a domineering and intellectual woman. She managed to establish full control over the harem and thereby secure the status of a female sultanate for the era. In addition, Hurem made a huge contribution to the development of the palace and the state, because it was there that she found her family and her home. Among them are the construction of several mosques, the creation of a school, a home for the mentally ill, a free kitchen for the homeless and the poor. Without a harem of mistresses, it's funny, but the series could not have been filmed, given the historical fact that Suleiman married Roxolana, thereby dissolving the harem. More precisely, he did not dissolve it completely, but allowed her to manage it and if she believes that there are many concubines in it, then she can marry them off. Harem did so, she left the ugly girls as servants, and married the others. Thus, Harem had no competitors and opponents, except for members of the Sultan's family, who disliked her. This proves the strong feelings of the ruler towards Hiram, because it was for her that he established a special title, Haseki, of his beloved wife. Thus, when Mahi Debran Sultan is mentioned with this title in the series, it is incorrect, the charming beauty of Hiram. No one can deny the amazing game of Maryam Uzerli in creating the image of an ideal concubine attractive, intelligent and fatal. But in fact, her exact appearance will never be known. At that time, for religious reasons, artists were not allowed to paint women from nature. The few portraits of Herm that have survived to this day represent a collective image. Probably, the authors based the picture on the stories of palace servants. Existing evidence suggests that Herm had red hair and green eyes, but no historian would call her a stunning beauty. Haseki had an average appearance, but her wit and manner of communication fascinated people. Sex Symbol Suleiman Halit Ergenç, who played the role of Sultan Suleiman in the Turkish saga, was athletically built, stately, had an expressive look. But a real Sultan would be far from such a physical form. He was overweight, his legs were deformed from being in the saddle for a long time, which made him walk with great difficulty. In fact, Suleiman did not look so attractive. He had only a mustache, he grew a beard only on a hike, when he returned home, he shaved it off. The Sultan's legs were crooked, as he spent a long time on horses when I went hiking. The most interesting fact, historians say that the Sultan was of small stature, he barely reached 170, while the height of the Urgench is 185 centimeters.